Insulin is a hormone. It works like a gatekeeper to move sugar, glucose, from your blood into your cells. Your cells use the sugar for energy, or the sugar can be changed into fat when needed. If you don't have enough insulin, or your body can't use it, your cells don't have the fuel they need to work. The most common problem linked to insulin is diabetes. With type 1 diabetes, your body makes very little or no insulin. With type 2 diabetes, your body doesn't make enough insulin or your body doesn't react to it normally. Insulin is grouped based on three factors. Onset, how fast it works. Peak, when it's most active. And duration, how long it lasts. Basal insulin controls blood sugar levels between meals and throughout the night. It includes intermediate and long-acting insulins. Bolus insulin is used right before eating. It includes fast, rapid, and short-acting insulins. Premixed insulin combines a basal and bolus insulin to keep blood sugar under control between and after meals. Insulin resistance means that the body doesn't react to or use the insulin it makes appropriately, so your blood sugar goes up. Insulin sensitivity is the reverse of insulin resistance. Your cells react well to insulin, so your blood sugar can drop fast. You can raise your insulin sensitivity and lower your insulin resistance by eating healthy, getting enough exercise and sleep, and lowering your stress level. One side effect of using insulin is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, happens when your level goes below 70 mg per deciliter. It's always important to check your blood sugar often to spot hypoglycemia. Untreated hypoglycemia can lead to severe effects. To prevent hypoglycemia, eat regular meals and snacks. Test your blood sugar often. Follow the exercise plan from your diabetes provider. Take your diabetes medicine as directed. Putting off eating or skipping a meal can lead to hypoglycemia. And waiting to eat later in the day can lead to overeating and high blood sugar. So follow your diet plan. Another side effect is weight gain. Using insulin can cause you to gain weight. To keep your weight under control, make healthy eating choices, follow your diet plan, and be active. Injecting insulin into the exact same spot each time can cause scarring or hard, lumpy areas to form. To prevent this, always rotate your injection sites. Pick a different spot in the same area, such as the abdomen, each time. Using a tracking map can help. Taking insulin with medicines for other conditions like high blood pressure or heart disease can affect how the medicines act. Make a list of all the medicines you take, then talk with your healthcare provider and make sure it's okay to be on your current regimen. To make the most of your insulin therapy, know what insulin you're using and when you should take it. Know how to store your insulin. Check the expiration date. Always follow the maker's instructions. Keep insulin away from extreme heat or cold. Store any bottles or pens being used at room temperature for about one month. Keep any unopened insulin in the refrigerator. Let it come to room temperature before using it. Know how to dispose of used syringes and pens. Know how and when to check your blood sugar levels. Be aware of your target range and what to do if your level is outside this range. Keep a log of your levels. List any symptoms you felt and actions you took. Bring the log with you to have a shared discussion with your healthcare provider. For more information on insulin, diabetes, and other hormone-related topics, subscribe to our channel or visit hormone.org.